Hello guys, this is Mike Hollywood from Hollywood Realty and today I'm going to show you Primo Village. It has four bedrooms and four bathrooms and it's a magnificent place. Come on, let's go. Before we go inside, I want to show you this space right here. It's a two car port and you could basically comfortably car, uh, park two cars over here. And over here, this is a Porsche. It's not mine, but I wish it's mine someday. Uh, and then right behind it, you could fit a, a large Jeep. Okay, and right next to me over here, I'm gonna show you this storage space. Primo has a lot of storage and a lot of cabinet spaces. One other thing I wanna talk about Primo, it's very nice design. It has a beautiful kitchen. One of the features that stands out is the laundry room. And a lot of people, they talk about how big is the laundry room and what you could do in the laundry room. But here in Primo, you will see what you can actually fit in this laundry room. And over here, this is a very small shoe closet. This is just for your, you know, everyday shoes or slippers and whatnot. But when you come back over here, you have this massive roll of shoe closets. See this? You have one, two, three. And you have plenty of space to fold your laundry, put your detergents, put your whatever that you need in the laundry, section and you could comfortably fit to uh to one of the washing machines and a dryer and right adjacent to it here is another room you could use it for storage you could put some shelving here and you could put extra detergents toilet paper whatever you need so this place has a lot of uh, unique spaces and very functional areas okay this room I want to show you is a multi-purpose room. Uh, the tenants here before here, they had, they had basically had office space here and they had a projector and they had, they covered one of those uh, screens over here that comes on the, from the ceiling. They pull it down and they watch movies. It's a small, it's a small place, but you could pretty much use it for whatever you like. And of course, on the first floor, it's not a full bathroom, but there is a toilet. And if you need to wash your hands, you could always wash your hands over there. Come on. This is not the main feature of this house, but the living room is almost like a hallway. If you can see right behind me, you see the echo? See how big it is? This is something that you could fit a very, very large TV, even a projector right here, an L-shape or U-shape couch, however you wanna decorate it. And it's a very, very long living room. And right next to it, there's the dining space. And obviously, you will, you will know this is a dining space because you have three lights and you could put a good size dining table here, okay? I mean, maybe eight, maybe even 10, maybe 10 is too big. One of the other things that I really like about this place is the kitchen. The kitchen is, this is a full kitchen. You could pretty much bake, fry, cook, do whatever you like because look how spacious this is. You could do your bakery here, roll your doughs. You have all these cabinet spaces. Look how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, over 20. And basically, look, you have all the standard basic things that you need. Dishwasher, American size oven. You could bake your turkey that you guys always cook. And these are all from Germany. And this is a cutting board. Nevertheless, it is made out of glass, but it is pretty cool. And the design, and the color is unique in each house. So this one, they had, they had opted for blue. Blue, I guess they really like the color with the house. But like I said, every house has different colors. One of the things that a lot of clients like about this is really the women who likes to cook because there are so many compartments to put everything. They could pretty much bring all they, all they bring from the States and still have space left. This unit, is about 20 minutes away from the main gate but one of the things about management here is they have shuttle service and if you have kids if you have two kids it's perfect i think because you have four bedrooms uh two of the bedrooms are on the second and the fourth floor this is one of the bedrooms that is on the second floor and each bedroom has its own closet space and it has a, this one has a built-in closet space. And 
it's not too big, it's not too small. You could perfectly fit a uh, full mattress here and a little desk, because I had my clients live here, they had a desk here, two computers, and they were, you know, basically uh, homeschooled. But other kids who actually live here and go to school, they have a shuttle service. So you don't really have to worry about having to drop off your kids every day. And you have plenty of space over here as far as closet goes. Okay, so on the third floor is pretty much where everything is, okay? Before we go to the third floor, I have to show you the bathroom. The bathroom here is just a full bathroom. It's not too big, it's not too small. A guest could come and basically, you know, they could shower, you know, use the bathroom with privacy. You know, you don't have to go through a room to get there. So let's go to the third, third floor. If you look inside here, this is not the master bedroom. This is one of the bedrooms that is in Primo. For being a bedroom, this is quite big. You could put a full size, king size bed here and still have space to maneuver. Maybe not your wardrobes, but nevertheless, this is a great bedroom for guests or for, you know, maybe two boys and you could have bunk beds or whatnot. And the thing is, this one has a closet space. If you can look, it's kind of dirty right now because they just left, but there are enough space to put your clothes, your whatever it is that you need to put. And another thing is, it has an ensuite. And the ensuite is basic, but nevertheless, it's still, it's a nice bathroom. Now we're gonna go walk into the master bedroom. The master bedroom was, is bigger than that room basically, okay? So, if you can see, you could fit a king size bed, your wardrobe, you could probably put a TV right over there, right there, and pretty much have a full bedroom set. Now, the thing about this place is they have another room of walk-in closet. It's like a whole room, literally. And you could pretty much fit all your clothes here. If you can't, maybe you need to get rid of some because this is a lot of space, a lot of space. The other thing I wanna show you is the master bathroom. Main event is the master bathroom. And the master bathroom, it has its own room itself. It has his and her sink. It has this massive tub. It's a spa tub. You could lay probably two people here and have champagne and put rose petals and whatnot. And you have a stand-up shower. The only thing missing here is a bidet. Maybe I'll put a bidet next time. But, you know, look at the counter space and look at, look at the size of this bathroom. This is a whole nother room. Primo represents one of those classical houses in the States. It's not so big, it's not so, it's not so small. And best of all, it's made out of wood. Everything here is made out of wood. There's no concrete here. This was one of the second house, the second phase houses that was made about a year and a half ago. And of course, they have AC system in each room. But if you keep it on and for about two, three hours and turn it off, it actually insulates better than not having it on. So this place, I would recommend for anybody to come and take a look and see the opportunity of this house. Next time, I will see you with a better house. And for your concierge service, contact Hollywood.